how to import data from web to the Excel. We're going to see here two different practical examples. The first one, we're going to use Google itself, where I need to take the conversion factor 1 euro to $1 and import this value to the Excel. And whenever this value changes, also in the spreadsheet, we're going to have an automatically update. You just need to refresh this spreadsheet. And yeah, that's it. You're done. So we're going to connect together the Excel and also Google. Another example that we can use here is using a different website than Google. We can use uh, a really good website right here where you can see the, a lot of different cryptocurrency values. And here I'm going to use Bitcoin to dollar. Okay. And I want to take this value right here and import to my Excel spreadsheet. And I'm using a cryptocurrency because Bitcoin to be more specific because I know that this coin is always changing the value. So that way we can see almost in a real time the changes in the Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So let's find out. Now, how can we do it step by step? The first thing that you need to do is to open an Excel spreadsheet. And then you can go to data and from web, just click here, or you can click get data and from other source, from web, click here. And the first thing that Excel is going to ask you is about the URL or the address of the website that you need to use, that you want to use here. So basically, you, we need to go back to Google and copy this address that I have here up to in this bar. Just click in this bar right here and then control C to cope everything. And then here back in Excel, I can click in this bar right here and control V to paste everything. And then I can click OK and just wait a couple of seconds because Excel is going to load here a navigator for me. And I'm going to be able to see a lot of different options of information that I can import to the Excel spreadsheet. Excel loaded here a lot of different informations. And as I want to use just the conversion factor, I need to try to find where this value is at. So let me click in the first table right here. Just click here. And OK, that's it. So the, here I have the information that I want to use. Even though we have here, let's say, $100 to euros, we can basically divide both numbers to 100 using Power Carry. And that way, we're going to have specific information that we need. Or you can just use Excel itself. So you can use this table right here. Just click in load, okay, load, and you're done. And then you can take this value right here, and in the Excel itself, you can take those values and divide both by 100, and you're done. You can do it in the Excel spreadsheet itself, or you can use Power Carry to transform the data before you import in Excel. Let's do it. Use Power Carry just to have one more tool to know how to use in our favor, okay? So let me click here transform data but of course if you just click here load you're done okay but i'm gonna click transform data and then excel is gonna open here the power carry editor and we can we, we can make a lot of changes here so let's say uh, i don't want to use the first column because i just want to or okay i can use both columns but let's say you have a couple of different columns that you don't want to use you can basically click over a column names and then right click remove okay simple as that uh let me read it off here the first row so i can click here the number one remove rows remove top rows i can input here the number one and then okay another thing that i'm going to do here is remove the row number two three and four i'm going to click here in the row number two remove rows remove bottom rows and type in here the number three okay and yeah that's it so now i have only the two informations that I want to use. Now, the, another change that we can have here is the, divide here both numbers by 100 to just have $1 to 1 euro to have this factor. But before we divide both numbers by 100, first I need to read it off the text that is append to the number because as we want to use just the number itself, we need to read it off the text. Let me click first in the first cell and then just click here, let's say home tab replace values and I want to replace the USD for nothing and something important here is also as you can see there is a, a little space in between the number and the text so I also need to input the space right here click here space and yeah that's it now I'm gonna click here okay and yeah I done now I'm gonna do the same thing for the second number replace values I want to just replace the text for nothing and then okay and yeah, that's it. Now we need to do the, the second step that is to divide both numbers by 100. And to do it, let me click first in the first number that I want to divide. And then I can go here, uh, data type, decimal number. Okay, it's going to be decimal number because that way we have more preciseness. Let's do the same thing for the second value. 
you click here text and transform to decimal number so now that we're done with the step let's click here transform and divide everything by a hundred i just click in the first value and then standard divide i want you to divide by a hundred a hundred and then click here okay i'm going to do the same thing for the the second number standard divide by a hundred enter and yeah that's it something very important that i miss or i forget to, to tell is here to the right you have the applied steps let's say you make uh you made a mistake and you you want to go back to the go back and make the, the thing more precise let's say you can basically click in the in this x and that way you can read it off the steps and come back to the steps that you was before now that we almost done here let's click double click in the first column one two to change the name and this one is going to be usd or let's be more specific usd dollar and here we're going to have euro or let me just uh type in euro and dollar enter okay now we can click here home tab close and load just click here and we're done excel is going to take just a couple of seconds to load the informations and to connect with the website and we're gonna have here the values okay so here we have both informations that we are using let me select everything and then home tab just centralize everything put everything in bold and increase a little bit the size of those columns and we're done so this is how we can import informations from the web our website web to the excel and to make sure you can automatically update those values you can click in anywhere in the in the table and then you go to data refresh refresh all or, or just click here in the bottom click here and excel is going to load here for you and the value is going to be automatically updated and of course you can use those values into a calculation so let's say here you have a lot of dollar values such as 1 123 and you want to convert those values to euro so we, we basically can use this information that i have here in the table and of course if you click in the table you can go to table design and you can choose another style of layout and design you don't need to stick with the standard one so let's say i want to convert all those values to euro or whatever the type of calculation that you want to have in excel equal sign i can basically select here the value that i have to the left times the conversion factor right here the euro press enter now i can click hold and drag down and yeah that's it so look at all those values right here now I have the perfect conversion. With another example right here, we're gonna use this website to input the Bitcoin value to the Excel spreadsheet. And again, the same thing as before. We can click here to cop the URL that we're gonna use, and then we, we can go back here to the Excel and click data from web. Just paste here the URL, Control V, click OK. Excel already loaded here for me a lot of different tables. Let's click in the first one, table one. Okay, so. Here we have the value let me click transform data and that way we can have the help of the power recovery to transform a couple of information that we don't want to use the column two i can click right click read it off so this column and then here the second row the third one the fourth one i'm not going to use so let me click in the second row and then remove rows remove bottom rows and i want to remove three different the, the three bottom rows okay and yeah, that's it now I think it's pretty much done here. I just need to change the column names to Bitcoin dollar. Now with the value of Bitcoin, we actually need to read it off the dollar sign because actually we need to use just a value itself and not a text. So let me replace values and I want to read it off the dollar sign. Okay, that's it. Now let me click here in the value and then instead of using data type as text, I want to use as decimal number like this okay and something that i want to do here i want to have this value in the same spreadsheet so let me click here in the in this down arrow and i'm going to choose the second option close and load to click here with this new window i can use a table to import the data as we already did before and i want to use an existing worksheet let me click in this upper arrow and i want to just put right here let's say and then let me click in the down arrow again and then okay and here we're gonna have the second data and yeah that's it so here we have the value let me increase a little bit and it's this value right here is gonna work in the same way as before you can use this value to have a calculation and on and on 
And something very important here is, it doesn't matter. In each table you click, if you click, let's say, in this green table where I have the Bitcoin value, I can go to data, refresh all. And if I click here, refresh all, it's literally refresh all. So it's going to refresh all the tables that you, you have. But let me click here, refresh all. And let's see if any of those values are going to change. 37, 699. Let's see if it's going to change. Let's wait a couple of seconds and see if uh, it's working properly. Let's wait. Let's wait. Yeah, actually, so just change. It was 37, 699, I think. But anyways, we can see that uh, it's working properly. And I hope you guys, this video can help you out. And uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below. And I see you tomorrow as yes, every day has a new video. I see you there.